Like ball wide you beat. Right. Niggas, this niggas just start knowing that nigga when he dropped his album. That's like 2014. Oh, you talking about that album? Because I was going to say, like, <clears throat> niggas been fucking with mustard. Well, me. I always get to niggas a little bit early, though. I was fucking with mustard in, like, 10. Because, like, Toot and Buddha came out around that time. And, like, I don't know if that beat was by mustard, but, like, I think that beat was by mustard. Was it? That right, Toot yeah. and Buddha shit? Bro, well, whatever. If it was, if it wasn't, I was fuck. I started fucking with him around that time. But like, that nigga must have been. Hard. You know who always been hard, bro? Who? Chop, young Chop from Chicago, bro. Like, Chief Keef, like whole first album, bro. Bro, I ha- oh my god, bro, that fucking tape, bro. Did you did you listen to Finally Rich? I got to like. I finished it, then I tried to listen to it again, and my shit got stolen, so I lost the flash drive. But yeah, I completely fucked with that whole album. That's the tape you got to get into again. I still go back to listen to that shit because of the production that uh, Chop put on. Like, Chop, he might only do trap shit, or to my knowledge, only do trap shit, but he drew trap shit in a certain way that, like, the that shit little, different. That little social shit was my shit. Yeah. Did they have like diamonds? They had like all that shit. All that shit on that album was by Chop. But no, like, so they have shit like that, but like, Chop does it different. Like, you might hear some of these niggas like Take Keep. Every beat that Take Keep then did didn't sound the same. Even the one that M rapped on, the beat still sound the same. Like, that nigga, he cool, but like, he, like, Let's just say Chop had some trap shit that sound like some futuristic trap shit. Cause like you can play you can play Tiki first album right now. And That's them and them beats compare with some of these beats that these other niggas rapping on. Them beats is just as good. Like you know how some beats you hear them like at one time and then like four years later the beats sound old as fuck? But like, yeah, like Chop don't make beats like that. That's why I fuck with. Like, even with Mustard, I thought Mustard beat sounded dated until I heard him do, like, a pop record. I don't even remember what song it was, but Mustard did some pop shit in. Like, I heard the Mustard tag. I'm like, bro, this don't even sound like Mustard, bro. When he did that shit by Fergie, because I didn't know. I didn't know he did that beat because she got YG on a remix. I think that's what I'm talking about. That's my fucking song. Nigga, 2014... That shit was every fucking where. But yeah, that nigga, that nigga chop cook, that nigga mustard cook. Um, that nigga Cardo cook like a motherfucker, bro. Cardo and Uncle uh, that's another one. He, we had two of them. He had like three for real, cause he had Johnny Ju- Johnny Giuliano at first. That nigga. <laughs> then he had Sludgerin. That nigga. Cardo. Like, he had a couple of niggas. Like, Wiz and Currency kept some of the best niggas. For sure. Like, Monster Beast, bro. Do, 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 do. Bro, like. Do, 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 do. And, and you know that, that shit is on my fucking favorite album by that nigga Currency. Do, you know do. that shit, bro. Do, 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 do. That fucking whole album, bro. That's my favorite album of all time, bro. What's that televised with us? Uh, yes, bro. Televised. That that fucking Jets go. All of that shit, bro. Like. <laughs> bro, like. Bro. I'm proud to say that that nigga Spit is my favorite rapper, bro. Like, ain't shit nobody can say about him. I mean, you can try and talk shit about him, but like. He one of them niggas that's just like, can't fuck with him. He in his own lane doing him. One of the homegirls was like, I fuck with the way you did the uh, shit on Sherwin. I thought I was the only one fucking with that shit. That's the only immaculate though. Uh-huh. That's the, that's, 
that's another priceless album that, for real, for real, if I ever get the chance to go to New Orleans and go to a music shop, I'm going to cop all his shit. And the fucking pilot talks, all of them. All of them pilot talks, especially the first two, but all of them was like... That I can listen. I can crazy. listen to all of them right now because you know they got the trilogy pack with all three of them together. I got that. Got that shit too. I actually got the individuals and the trilogy pack. It's kind of retar- it. it's retarded, but I do. But like, I thought I was the only one. Right. But I like, was like, fuck it. Let me get all six of you. If you play, if you play the fucking sp- pilot talk, pilot talks or whatever, like all three of them still hit and they hit in the same way. Bro, what, topped the, what topped the first one off is to me is the King Kong and Audio Dope shit. For sure, Audio Dope, but King Kong, my favorite song on that bitch. And then, and then, you got the last song on that bitch. I'll forever love that damn song. I don't know why. It's just... Oh, shit. Was that the one that Chill Coffee was on? Yeah. Or was that on the second one? I fuck with that one, too. And he, he on there with Crit and... Devin and Doom. Yeah, I fuck, I fuck with, I fuck with, I fuck with all of them though. I don't know that that nigga is something different, bro. That that no. nigga when it comes to shit, like I just be sitting back listening to. I don't even gotta be high and I fuck with his shit. The Jet Files when he was talking about the um the threesome shit. Out, bro. I didn't really know what the fuck he was talking about because I was just listening to him one day. I got high. Was like. This nigga talking about a fucking threesome? I'm like, what? I didn't never know. I never paid right. that shit. You know this nigga. You know what is one of his best songs? It's like low key one of his most underrated fucking songs. What? And it makes sense, but it don't. But it make more sense than it don't. I mean, it, I mean, it makes sense, but it's like when you first hear, you might be like, what? And then next thing you know, it's like your second time hearing it, you like, oh, okay, I feel him. That she don't want a man, she just want to fuck shit. Yeah. Like when you first hear that, like that, she don't want a man. What? That, that, that shit. That shit. Fuck. That shit. That shit. Fuck my head. Up. Right. Because like when you first listen, or when I first listened to that shit, I'm like, okay, so she a hoe. But then you listen to it again, it's like, bro, she's not necessarily a hoe. She just hasn't fulfilled her needs with who she with. I need to stop smoking, bro. Yeah. That nigga was talking about some how she was a beautiful mistake and shit. I was like, damn, that shit deep as fuck. Bro, that that nigga is something else when it's like when it come to weed shit, but life shit. Man, I don't know. This nigga currency been in. This nigga currency been in, man. And you know the you know the weird you know the weird thing about currency when he dropped a single, you know it's a fucking single. Mm-hmm. None of his mixtapes sound like none of his fucking albums. None of his albums, none of his albums, you know an album don't so sound the same anyway, but none of his albums, even if it's like a one, two, three, nigga, all five of them audio dopes is fucking hard. Right, bro, <laughs> right. Nigga, How the fuck you make a song, You got like five series of a song and it sounds so fucking good, bro? You got the first one on fucking Pilot Talk. Wait, is, is he really supposed to be dropping the audio dope six or is that just a rumor? I think no. I think he said he was doing it. I, I don't know where the fuck I heard that from. Yeah, me too. Probably Twitter. You know how Twitter be. But shit, if he dropped, bro. The second, the second one is on. Um, uh, the shit he did with Don Cannon, the Smokey Robbins. Why the fuck is he having to drop that fucking mixtape? Bro, bro that Smokey Robinson was. Bro, what's that shit called? That uh. Smokey Robinson, wasn't that the one that had fat raps on it? Yeah. Like, that was like, yeah, I was fucking with that one. Like, I fuck with that one more than I fuck with a lot of them because it had that and then it was one other song on that bitch. Yeah, that Mouth with. Talk and shit. Oh, it's a couple other songs because that, no, that wasn't Smokey Robinson with Smashing O'Leary or something. Yeah, yeah, that's my shit. I don't. <laughs> Nigga, I can't tell you why. I can't tell you why, but I fuck with that song. I done had that shit on repeat, bro, for no reason. Just sitting there listening to that shit. That same annoying ass ding in the background. <laughs> shit. I don't know what the hell. That shit so catchy, bro. That's catchy just like that HBK Joe beat shit. Them two songs just so fucking catchy, bro. 
Bro. Speaking of HBK Joe, I gotta remake that bitch, bro. Alright. That fucking that fucking famous shit always get me too. That famous always get me. This is the life. Um Navigation Pivot, the Jet Music shit. And then he then he sped off the um I think he sped off the Kanye West version. Oh shit. We forgot about Woods, bro. Nigga. Bro, what's his what's his uh what you think his fa- his best mixtape is? Cause I have a different thought now. And it, like to me, his best one. Like I used to say, so much different shit. Like I used to be all oh, flight school, oh, uh, star power, oh, fucking, um, cushion OJ. I used to be on that shit, but cabin fever. I went through all of them, but now I'm on some different shit. But what's what you think your favorite one is? Mixtape, not album. Mixtape. I done played the fuck out of Artemis. Right. I done played the fuck out of cabin fever. I done played the fuck out of Star Power. I done played the fuck out of... Girl season, all that shit. Well, me. White school. I done played that a couple Prince times. Prince of the City. I fucked that shit. Nigga. Oh, man. Fuck. I don't, I don't even like answering these questions. They make my head hurt. What? Because mine... Mine right now, I'll tell you, and it might be because I'm high as fuck, and I feel like that feeling that he gave on this mixtape, I feel right now... But that fucking to me that um that Taylor Alderdice shit, bro. Man, that shit's so slept on. Even if it's not his best album, it's one of his most slept on. Like niggas wasn't fucking with it. I mean, niggas was fucking with it, but some niggas like nah, cause he trying to be like Kush and OJ. I think I fuck with it more because it does have a Kush and OJ vibe, but it's like. On that some shit. on some smoother shit though. That shit that shit different as hell because you can play the whole damn take through. Mm-hmm. And how and how he how he got the little small interviews and in, in between. Right. And then the songs go right up in. He got a couple of fucking slow joints on that bitch. He got your hype shit on that bitch. I gotta check the track list again, cause I think this is I think this might be the one my shit. No, I never okay, that Amber on. Ice, Kali, um, Maya Wallace, yeah. yeah Maya Wa- Guilty Conscience was dope. Nameless is my shit. That shit That's just all go. the rich and Bro, that shit that shit just go. Like that shit just go, bro. Damn. Never been part two. I fuck with that because Never Been is one of my favorite songs on fucking <laughs> Pussy and OJ. And you know what? You know what I liked about that song? He put a little bit more bass. Right. And then the and then you got the doom doom. Doom do do. Then it got I was like, what? I'm like, no, what the fuck? Bro, the crazy shit about that shit is. That was Sludger. Like, that nigga cold as fuck, bro. But no, um, the cruise was nice. Wait, wait, which one is that? Oh, um, I'll tell you, the cruise? I'm trying to remember. Rolling, uh-uh. Rolling was the shit. Rolling, like, bro, you don't remember that one either? I got all that shit on me. Bro, bro, okay, okay. Right, let me go pick my phone up right Hold here. Hold up. I'm about to play it. It's that shit, um, you know that shit that, uh, I think it was Martin Lawrence? Bro. You just, man, I don't know. Bro. I'm not getting in that shit because I'm not about to try and I'm high as fuck. But. I said, said, where's my phone at? YouTube and file Fed and save for free. Guaranteed. This shit right here. Oh, bro. Yes, bro. That shit, that shit nice as fuck too, bro. Oh, you got this on here? Hmm? Oh, you got this on here? Yeah. That's why I that's, with that's it. That's rolling. That's that song right there. This is my, this is my favorite song, bro. That's my favorite song with Juicy Jungle and shit, bro. 
Bro, that's my favorite. My favorite song. <laughs> <laughs> it's crazy because your favorite song is my favorite song. <laughs> bro, why am I just not catching that shit, bro? Like, nigga, you know what my favorite song is? My favorite song, nigga. Like, nigga, you just repeat. No, <laughs> like, no bro. nigga. Wiz Khalifa, check this song out. Is my favorite song. Like, that's the fucking title, nigga. Like. <laughs> I'm not trying to be an asshole. <laughs> like, like, look, I'm not trying to be an asshole. That's what the fuck it's called. Like, my favorite, oh, shit. like, my favorite song is my favorite song. Like, nigga, that like, shit hard. <laughs> like, I wasn't, I wasn't being a prick. Like, that's what it's called. Like, that shit is super hard, bro. Like, like, duh, nah, like. Look. <laughs> I, I, that shit deep, but it's not, bro. That shit crazy. Like, man, look, I'm not, I'm not, be, I'm not, be, I'm not, I'm not being a prick right now. That's exactly what the fuck it's called. <laughs> niggas be like, man, all right. Niggas gonna look up a song. Oh, that's my favorite song, too. Bro. That shit funny because this nigga was probably high as shit when he made that shit. Like, thought of that. Like, oh, this is my favorite song. Like, bro. Bro, that shit's crazy. This nigga was high as fuck when he thought it. Don't nobody think that. <laughs> don't nobody think of that shit when they high, bro. I mean, what's that you shit? Gotta be high Where does the rain on? Oh, that nigga said he did that on a mistake. Like, <laughs> <laughs> he said I was just fucking around, basically. He had to take a plane, shit. That beat was hard as fuck. To take a plane. Yeah, a whole it's fucking tape. I bro, think, I think like my favorite song is my favorite song. That shit is crazy, bro. Oh fuck! I forgot about fucking ID Labs. Mm -hmm. I think from the from the first how it come on for like for the intro shit. That's what pulls you in, bro. That nigga Pilo is underrated. P this nigga Pilo. Light skin nigga HBK? Yeah, the like I don't he I don't think he black, he like Filipino or something like that. Bro, that nigga is dope as fuck, bro. Like he got West Coast, but he like a dope West Coast. And he produced so much shit, like if you ever heard that the invasion tag, bro, that's that nigga. For real? Yes. Nigga. And then it's a couple more of them, but he be the main one that be producing for like industry I all, like bro, I always fuck with the cold. With who? The cold. Oh, the cold, yeah. They bro, did. the grinder, brainstorm number sixteen, bro. Number sixteen is number sixteen. Why is this nigga okay? You know what? Wait, wait, wait. We Wait, we about to go through this whole fucking list. And just look up shit like, bro. Because you like, hey, man, you got to, like, if you say something with the grinder in it, niggas going to be like, here, no, bitch, the song. <laughs> and then he got a song called Tap, the cold. Here, take a plane. That's Tap. And then, hey, like, you heard that song, Brainstorm? Niggas be like, You fucking with me again? No. So I'm on brainstorm. This Bro. nigga actually got like real like. Back to Yoshi real quick though. That motherfucker. I gotta get some fucking like. She hard as fuck. But her production hard as fuck too. Like that nigga I think his name Sid or some shit. Two eyes in the middle. Yeah. That nigga and fucking Python P nigga. Them niggas be bro. bro, I paid I paid a ticket to get a beat from them niggas, like for real. They so fucking cold and then like Yoshi, she different on her shit. There we saw. Right. But then she different, but she still hurt. Bro, them niggas, them niggas gonna them niggas gonna make it something.
Oh shit, that's my favorite song on that mixtape. Them niggas performed that shit the other day. Bro, them niggas, damn, bro, we didn't even get them tour tickets, bro. Yeah, we, yeah. Yeah, I was thinking about this shit. And the van fucked up, so we wouldn't even be able to get there, bro. Like, this shit fucked up. Yeah, he just said how fire motherfucking um oh, iTunes. What? Yeah. When did this happen? He said if I told you how fire was on uh, this iTunes, Valentine's Day, buy you a Reese's and fall in love bro, with yourself. Bro, what? Cause nah, day. bro. Cause bro. Ooh, I just looked for this shit on iTunes, like. It might have been about a month or two ago. Um, but yeah, this is my favorite song. I'm ballin' too, my nigga. Really fuck with the song. Like Wiz, of course, but like, bro, this nigga Juicy J. And he was just on some, he was on some hype shit. CJ, he want he gotta be one of the goats, bro. Hell yeah, that nigga, like that nigga been, bro. That nigga been in the game so fucking long, bro. Bro, and that nigga like forty fucking six, six or something. Cause you said you said your mom said it was popping like in the late late eighties, like eighty eight. Around like eight. Them niggas been popping for a minute, bro. Nigga, that's. From the 80s all the way to 2018, nigga. Right. Past the fucking decade. Like. That's a couple decades, bro. DJ Paul still doing fucking music. Bro, yeah. He just did some shit on Drake shit, bro. That shit that had Drake and Jay on it. That shit fire as fuck, too. Bro, bro, Teresa was Mafia did a fucking song with Tech the Fuck. It was his DJ Paul and uh Juicy J, but nah. Bro. KOD out. <laughs> 2009. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, DJ Paul did a mixtape with fucking Yellow Up and shit. 
bro. I'm still stuck on Drake and fucking Jay, bro. Jay Z had some of the best features last year. Period. 2018. Bro, he killed Meek shit, Drake shit, and a whole bunch of other shit. Then he had a whole mix, I mean, a whole album with Beyonce. Where he was killing shit. These niggas out here crazy. Y'all, 33 people have already been arrested for Super Bowl sex track in ATL, and 16 young girls are missing. Y'all be safe. I'm not surprised though. It is crazy. Super Bowl out there, and then it's like, that's fucked up. But shit like that happened in big cities when you have a Super Bowl there. I don't know. I don't want to get into that because I got a whole thought on that whole thing. But, bro, you do know who hard as fuck? And to me, one of the hardest niggas from Atlanta. This nigga. No, my teachers actually used to tell me I wasn't gonna be shit. I ain't that. Fuck, nigga, gotta get back. Take it to the point with the girl. I wish you would have seen that. She gonna look back. She told me what they did. I thought what he was doing. So it's just that one that he just. Cook up the crap, watch him eat it up. That's no jumper put out. He was in the house. Cause I was gonna say, one of them was like, just a day in his life. I was gonna say, one of them was like, just a day in his life. I was gonna say, one of them was like, just a day in his life. I was gonna say, one of them was like, this is my one of my favorite rappers now out of Atlanta. That nigga in his 20s. Yeah, bro. He might be like 28 or something, but he in his 20s. But, bro, this nigga so fucking hard, bro. But he like, I don't know, I just, something about that nigga is dope as fuck. Like, he do trap, but he do trap different. Like, he sound like Migos, but he don't. But then he got Young Thug song, but then he don't. But then he sound like Skipper the Flipper, but he don't. Then he sound like Jose Guapo, but he don't. But he sound like 21. Like, he sound like all of these Atlanta niggas, but then the game, he got his own style. And all my shit on offset. And none of my hoes got air shots. And they say they dick like cook crap. Boy, I done came a long way when I look back. Gotti killed this verse. And it wasn't nothing heavy. This one too, and this song new. Snap your W two and file Fed and. But I fuck with this. I fuck with this shit heavy too. I'm about to remake the song just because it's a bad rock on it. Like 
look up. I'm trying to get that part where you say diamond bedrock. Get that shit and chop that shit and throw it on the beat. This shit hard. You can't help me, I'm trying to chop a spot. But this shit right here, bro. Yeah, bro. This shit right here hard as fuck. <laughs> I fuck with Southern niggas. They funny as hell. Well, I didn't look like a, a straw on the north side, though. Right. I fuck with this song so fucking heavy, bro. And I'm not that big of a dog fan, bro. But this shit fire. Like the beat and, bro. Damn, somebody just busted that shit. Hey, bro, don't get that shit on my seats, bro. Mobbing in the business, smoking more. Oh yeah, now Camilla. They never say I That nigga tour just to hear him perform this shit. That's how much I fuck with this one song. 